Health managers who spent months waging war on hospital infections think they may have come up with the ultimate solution. A new deep cleaning system, three and a half thousand times the strength of bleach, is being used at two Sussex hospitals. Now, there were approximately 7,000 cases of MRSA across the country last year and over 57,000 cases of Clostridium difficile. The government is spending a total of £50 million to use on additional deep cleaning for every hospital. For tonight's special report, Julia Parkin went to Eastbourne's District General to see how they're using ozone to try to stamp out infections altogether. How to keep the bugs at bay. This, health experts claim, is the way to do it. These mops have been washed in ozone, a powerful disinfectant which has been found to kill off even the most virulent of bacteria. Ozone in itself is um, probably the second strongest um, oxidizer known and when it comes into contact with bacteria it will actually um, kill the bacteria on contact, breaking down the cell wall of those bacteria. This shows C. difficile bacteria after standard cleaning at 71 degrees. And this one shows a complete absence after being cleaned in the ozone product, Otex. It does, of course, come at a greater cost. But experts say the lower temperatures it works at are better for the environment. And long term, they say, it should reduce the cost of treating infected patients. The patients need to be confident that when they come into hospital that the, uh, the hospital itself is as clean as it possibly can and that the, particularly the cleaning services that they see is working to the, stand, uh, the national standards. At least 90 patients died at hospitals run by the Maidstone and Tunbridge Wells NHS Trust between 2004 and 2006 from the bacterium C. difficile. A damning report by the Healthcare Commission found a litany of errors in infection control. Last summer, the government announced it was to spend millions on a major cleanup. The trust which looks after this hospital is spending £450,000 on deep cleaning every inch and every corner of both their sites. But is it enough to restore public confidence? I think they have a hard job to do and um, I'm not sure that they get the support that they actually need. She just put a wipe over the end of, a, of a, a mop and went right through the whole floor, just flicking underneath the chairs. Nothing was pulled out, no one was asked to move. If they're saying they're doing everything they can, they are, but, you know, there's no, no substitute for a bit more money. Do you think the hospitals do enough to try and clean up? This one does. It's hoped this simple wash cycle will help stamp out deadly germs for good. Juliet Parkin, BBC South East Today, Eastbourne.